the name of the law. We bring you another of the thrilling stories in this exciting series, taken from actual police case files. Our story begins in Chicago's Chinatown, Chicago's Limehouse, a strange medley of splendor and shabbiness. Chinatown! Chinatown! We are now passing through Chicago's Lamb House, where silent and shadowy Orientals go their mysterious ways. Oh, Simon, goodness, Ed, I wish you hadn't brought me on this trip. Chinatown's no place to bring a girl on a honeymoon. Ah, oh, them Chinese invented dark records. Nothing ever happens in Chinatown these days, Carrie. On the left is the headquarters of the An Leon Tan. The towns of Chicago's Chinatown still carry out the sentences of Chinese Oh, that was just firecrackers, Carrie. I tell you, nothing ever happens in Chinatown. On the left is the Peking police station. This bus will stop for 15 minutes at Choi Fa Choi Tea Garden and Bazaar, where you may witness strange and... <laughs> Peking Police Station, Lieutenant Healy speaking. Lieutenant, this is Schroeder. What is it, Sergeant? Murder, Lieutenant. Where? Over here on Wentworth Avenue. Who? Wong Fu. Wong Fu? The merchant who owns that big store? Yeah, that big store looks like a shooting gallery now. Somebody killed Wong Fu last night. Used plenty of lead. See, Jack? These Chinese shut up like a bunch of clams when you want to get anything out of them. Hong Kong, I am young. I'll talk to you all again. I'm going inside shop now to look at murdered body of respected Wong Fu. After that, I want to talk particularly to you, Hong, and to you, Hong Chang. All right. Let's go in, Lieutenant Healy. Silks, carved ivories, old pottery, porcelain. Oh, fine shop, all right. And here he lies in the middle of it, riddled with bullets. Yes, a fine gentleman lies here. Oh, uh, Sergeant Schroeder, is this yes. the way you found Wong Fu? Yes, Lieutenant Walsh. Right by this little altar here. Yes, that Buddha could only speak. Did you cover Wong Fu with that banner? No, sir. That's the way it was. The imperial yellow dragon of old China. He must have pulled that banner off the wall in the struggle. Did you break open that front door, Sergeant? Yes, Lieutenant Haley. That mob of Chinese was outside when I came along at half past eight. Uh, Wong Fu always opened this place at uh, eight o'clock. Yeah, that's what all those Chinamen said. You're yelling about trouble and thought something must have happened. I busted in the door and found Wong Fu. Like this. Mm. Shot five or six times under the left chest. Oh, have you got that, Linderman? Yes, sir. I'm checking on those bullet holes in the wall, too. And be sure your photographs show the position of the body in relation to that open safe. Right. Uh, oh, I want a picture of this pair of slippers, too. I have those, Lieutenant Walsh. And that sheet of wrapping paper near his right arm. Looks as if he was shot down while he was wrapping up those slippers. Hey, those are women's slippers. You think the murderer could have been a woman? Well, somebody fired at least 12 bullets at Wong Fu. And nobody heard any gunfire? No reports on the blotter last night? No, nope. not a firecracker shot off. Could have covered up pistol shots. I'd say six of those bullets hit him. I don't think the trigger figure belonged to a woman, though. But here's a woman's purse over here on the table. Hey, and three glasses here. Hmm. Hey, here's a bottle. Hmm. I got pa. What? Oh, uh, rice wine. Oh, beautiful glasses. Fine for fingerprints. Oh, uh, take care of them, Schroeder. Yes, sir. Wong Fu must have been having a little party. Three glasses. Uh, Schroeder, bring in Ong Chang and Fu Hong. Yes, Lieutenant. Ong Chang. Fu Hong. Come on in. Come on now. Your employer was murdered last night. None of this no talky business. Hung in tongue, Nucky Wong Wong Fu. 
Besides, you can speak English. Sorry, sorry. Wang Fu, catchy trouble. Honorable employer make much sadness. Thanks. Thanks. You and Fu Hong were... Yeah, you both worked for Wang Fu, didn't you? Oh, yes. Every day, work shop here. Thanks. Your boss was a kind man, wasn't he? Yes. Everybody hold in large esteem. He called Wang Fu Yang Ting. Who Kong. killed him? Uh, you see? Show me a Chinaman in a murder case, and I'll show you a clam. These men may tell us something yet. They were clerks and porters here. Huh? When did you last see Wang Fu? What were his last words to you? He said good night. And what time was that? Eleven o'clock last night. Who was with you? No tell. I'll find out another way, Hong. Remember Tong Xiao? I hear many voices in Chinatown. I with Hong last night. Hang, do you work until 11 o'clock every night? No, not every night. Last night, Honorable Wong Fu invited us to sit with him, having tea and talk conversation. You didn't have this rice wine from these glasses. Oh, no. Not drinking gapa with Wong Fu. Only tea. And you left him here at 11 o'clock last night? Yes. He come to door with us. We bow. Say good night. Wong Fu, shut door. We have both inside. So bar lock. We saw you leave. Who are your witnesses? Nobody. See. What woman was here last night? You know there was a woman here. She left this purse. Who's this guy? Who are you? Why? I are Hing, nephew Wong Fu. Have just the sadness of his death. Yes, too bad, Ah Hing. You've not been in Chicago long, have you? Short time, three weeks. Ah, Hing, have you any idea who could have killed your uncle? Not no. Uncle has no enemies. Do you know of any woman who came here? Somebody whose feet fit these slippers? Mm-hmm. Ah, Hing, why didn't this woman take that jade necklace? Don't know, woman. Song, find out. Maybe, maybe Song, take care. Oh, so you'd rather have your uncle's tongue handled, eh? You'd rather get a hatchet man to pay off this murder, is that it? No. Very sorry, Uncle has son to ancestors like this with bullets. What's that? Oh, they're mourning for one fool. Oh, Sergeant Schroeder. Sergeant Schroeder. Uh, come here a minute. There's the third district wagon for the body. Bring these three Chinese down to headquarters. Keep that nephew away from those other two. He looks bad enough to kill them. He must have loved it, Uncle. Come on, come on. We're going to give you something better than rice cakes and tea. Yeah. Ever drink tea through a rubber hose? Come on, Lieutenant Healy. We're going to see Lee Chung. Gentlemen. Will you join me in Hubble Bubble? Well, thanks, Lee Chung. I will. <laughs> None of these water pipes for me. I'll stick to cigarettes. <laughs> and to each division. It is wise man who know his own desire. As for me, I prefer the pulverized tobacco of our Chinese Hubble Bubble. A cool, soothing, mellow method of smoking. Yeah, it's really good, Walt. You ought to try it sometime. I'm trying to find out who murdered Wong Fu. Uh, Lee Chung, we've come to you to help us solve this crime. It saddens me to know that thus my friend Wang Fu has gone to the Sauri Kingdom. You know what Confucius say, Lieutenant Healy? No, what, Li Chung? For better that a man's bone never rest in holy place than he be dishonored by his friend. Well, that's exactly my idea, too. Your idea of what? Say, I like this Chinese philosophy, too, but how's it going to help us find out who killed Wang Fu? Dishonored by his friend. Now, Lee Chung, you have not title, but they call you mayor of Chinatown here in Chicago. I know we can depend upon you to solve this crime. You know my people well, Lieutenant Boss. There is small help I can offer. Yes, I will do everything I can. It is well to remember that the murderer of Wang Fu was a wily, crafty person and trusted. Otherwise, Wang Fu would not open his safe in such a presence. Excuse me? Yes? Hiya, Hai Shang. Lieutenant Watts, you are to go to the star of Hong Li. Oh, yes, Li Chung. All right, come on, Walt. Hong Li? Well, that's the place where that receipt came from. The receipt in that purse we found in Wang Fu's store. 
Yes, Lieutenant Hilly, that is true. Well, we stopped there on our way down here, and they wouldn't talk. They will speak now. Ask to speak with Ah Chin. If you gentlemen should need me as poor translator of Chinese dialect, unfamiliar to you, do not hesitate to call upon this number first. You can't keep me in my dressing room all night. I've got to go on for my act. Miss Lee, you put on an act last night at Wong Fu's with a couple of girls. I don't even know Wang Fu. His family is too wealthy for my act. Sue Tzu Chiao. But you are beautiful, Miss Lee. How did that purse of yours get there on his table? How should I know? I was singing here at Blossom Gardens last night. I couldn't have been at Wang Fu's. Impossible. Hold out your foot, Miss Lee. Quang Chao Quang. Do you want to take footprints? No, but I'd like to try these slippers on. Just wait a minute, Cinderella. Hey, there. Let me get your shoe on. What do you think of that? It's a perfect fit. Well, how do you explain that, Miss Lee? Explain what, gentlemen? That this slipper, which we found in Wong Fu's dead hand, fits your foot. Exactly. My foot would fit hundreds of slippers in any Chinese store. Any other Chinese girl this has... This is your purse, isn't it? You bought it at Hong Lee's Bazaar, didn't you? I had one like it, but I lost it. Who is it? This manager, please. Time is Ed and Lee's act going on. She's singing and dancing. I'll be right out, Chin. I think not, Miss Lee. Your next act is going on at headquarters. No. I had nothing to do with it. Take her down, Walt. I'm going over to her apartment and look for a gun. I did know Wang Fu, but I didn't kill him. That is all I can tell you. There is nothing more. I, young child. Funerals before, but those bits of paper are new to me. What are they for, Lee Chow? A devil in human form has taken Wang Fu's life. Those little strips of paper, 10,000 of them, are to protect his immortal soul from devils. How's that? In every strip of paper, there are nine small holes. 90,000 holes altogether. What do they do? To reach Wang Fu's soul, each one of the 10,000 Chinese devils would have to crawl through each of these 90,000 holes. Well, his murderer has crawled through a hole so far. But you think you do not yet have the murderer? That's right. I didn't want to come to this, you know. I don't mind a good Irish wake, but these Chinese buries give me the creeps. Wang Fu's tongue knows not his murderer, else their justice would have reached him. Yeah, with a hatchet. A wolf. Watch all the faces around here and see tell you anything. Hey, Li Chang, do you see our Hing over there? You mean the tall one who is Wang Fu's nephew? Yes. You notice anything clone? His face is sometimes like a mask, and sometimes... Yes, sometimes he's very nervous. He's not acting like a Chinese at a funeral. Yeah, something is eating that guy. He was smoking a lot of cigarettes outside a while ago. Chain smoking them, too. Well, I've got a hunch. I think we'd better take our Hing to a resting place at the Peking Station. It's 
better to talk now, Ahing. But I do not belong in your prison. In this small cell. Set it up. Yes, your uncle doesn't belong in his grave tonight either. Where'd you get the money, Ahing? I suppose you found it in your uncle's safe. It's better to talk now, Ahing. Kong Saabang. The hatchets of the tongues are sharp. I receive money from China. From a relative, I suppose. Yes, from another uncle in Shanghai. If you needed money, why didn't you go to your uncle Wang Fu for it? Because you knew he wouldn't give it to you. You're a lazy Chinaman and don't like work. Isn't that about it? Money came from Shanghai. You took that $600 from your uncle's safe. Why was woman's first crown and woman's slipper? We'll explain that. You explain why you hid that money in the mattress of your bed. And where did you hide the gun? Or was it two guns? You filled your uncle with enough lead, all right. Woman murdered my uncle. Came to steal the necklace. After my uncle was dead, she, she lost confidence in that necklace. Oh, what does matter? Oh, this, this light must have gone out. Oh, it's over here. It's dark. Oh, Draper, bring us a light bulb, will you please? This one went out. Okay, Lieutenant. Out of here. Yeah. Oh, it's darkness. Ow. See that chair. So much darkness. Yeah, there you are. Oh, light. Did this gentleman crack yet? No. He got that 600 bucks from another uncle in Shanghai. Uh, just a minute. Oh, Sergeant Draper, is there anyone in solitary? Uh, no, Lieutenant. Uh, ain't had anybody there since Pig Iron Rogers last week. Mm, good. Come on along, Ahing. We're going to put you where you can think things over a little better. Where are you taking me, please? The solitary. Well, yeah, this cell right here. In there? In dark? Yeah. You don't like the dark, do you, Ahing? No, no. Please do not lock me in dark. It is full of devils. And it's full of ghosts, too. I think you'll find the ghost of your uncle, Wong Fu, in there. You killed him, didn't you? No, no. Please, honorable policeman... Put me anywhere in prison, but not in dark. Please do not lock me up in here. It is full of devils in here. Please, honorable policeman, let me out. Why did you kill Wong Fu? I know nothing about his murder. Please let me out. It is so dark. Oh, Hing, you're going to stay in there, in the dark, until you tell us the truth. Do not keep me in darkness. This is all around me. It's black and full of devils. Hey, Hong Tao, hey, Hong Tao, please take me from darkness. He's been in there five hours now, Lee Chun. I think perhaps he is ready now to speak. Hello, Hing. Why did you murder your uncle? Wong Fu did not die by my hand. He could not kill relatives of family blood. You spilled plenty of family blood. Why don't you admit it? I think he will. I cannot confess murder. I did not come in. Here, let's just go down the corridor a little way. All right. Very well, Ahing. You like the dark so much, you stay in there. Let me out. Do not keep me in Oh, keep me in darkness. I will kill you, Wang Fu. Lee Chung, what's he saying? He says he killed Wang Fu. I killed Wang Fu. I murdered my uncle. Let me out of this darkness. I will tell you. Oh, all right, all right, Ah Hing. Oh, Draper, get along to take on this confession. Okay, Lieutenant. Hello. Bring your book. All right. No more darkness. Sit down here, Ah Hing. Now. Tell us how you killed your uncle. I you can say I want to. Please, I owe you a new Ah, speak English. Yeah, how can I get take that stuff down? Ah, he is hysterical. He will speak now only in his own language. You translate for us, will you, Lee Chung? I will do so. What's he saying? He says, I killed my uncle. I was in need of money. Take that down, Malone. I'm getting with you. He says, I went to my uncle and asked him to give me money. He says, no, you are very wasteful, and I will not find favor in the eyes of my ancestors unless you change your mode of living. But, Wang Fu, honorable uncle, I am in need of money. I earn so little. I, too, earned little money, my nephew, when I was young. 
that your mode of living is not pleasing to me, nor to my ancestors. How could I please you, revered uncle? By earning so much money, saving it, bringing it to me, to show me. He is saying, I borrow $60. He says, I bought a gun with $10 of this money, and I took it with me to my uncle's shop. This was on last Saturday night. He says, I stole a woman's purse and took it with me to leave it in shop to confuse honorable police. <laughs> I'll say it confuses. He is saying, my uncle received me well when I showed him the money. Here is some which I have earned with your uncle, as you commanded. Fifty dollars. My nephew, you make me glad. Now I am sure our ancestors will approve your mode of living. I will give you a little present, and we shall have some wine. Ah, Nagapa. This is very poor, rice wine. It is best one could taste. Mm -hmm. It matches in beauty shade necklace that you keep in your safe. Mm. A miserable necklace. Ah, it is priceless, my uncle. Would you like to gaze upon it? These humble eyes would indeed like to see it. I shall open the safe and get it out. Ah. Ah. My jade necklace. Most cherished of all my poor possessions. Carved 3,000 years ago and grown in beauty day by day. My nephew, you have denied yourself pleasure in saving this $50. I shall now give you a little present which perhaps you would like to give to someone you cherish. These slippers. Happy is the woman whose foot they will fit. Where they are done, Carl. But, nephew, why do you have a gun? Well, dear uncle, I bring it to kill you. He says he took money from the safe, taking care to wear gloves and to wipe off all fingerprints from the wine glass. He says he did not take the jade necklace because he knew he would be caught by the town. He threw the gun into the river. That is all. Thank you, Lee Chung. Ah, Hing, why did you leave a third wine glass on the table? I left it there for confusion of honorable police. But it didn't work, Ah, Hing. You forgot just one thing. What Ah, Hing forget? You were afraid of the dark. <laughs> The jury having found you guilty of murder as charged, the criminal court of Cook County hereby sentences you to imprisonment in the state penitentiary in Joliet, Illinois, for the rest of your natural life. <laughs> Be with us again when truth and justice triumph in the name of the law. <laughs>